What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers and training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. good egg when they see one, as do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey! Over here, come on. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. 
At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Quite <sighs> the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope.
Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting class. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. better than that. Akio! Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid!
your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. It appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Our neighbor at home knows someone who's related to the inventor of Skellagro. It's true. Limfred of Stinchcomb, his name was. Do you ever wish you could ride a hippogriff? I've ridden one, of course. Several, in fact. I just wondered if you knew what it was like. When I fell off my broom... You've made a mistake. Is this you? Yes. should investigate. Huh? <laughs> 
Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it, but I see triumph in the end. A measured perception, very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy, and that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Sender. Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes. Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it, and I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. 
Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Mind now, demigods? At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test. Outside of the classroom. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Another house token for the house chest. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. It. I'm making good progress with these tokens. Revenia. Thank you. 
Revelio. Been having strange dreams of late. You should analyze. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now? Possibly. But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment charm is superb. I'm stealthy as a demiguise. I'm invin- uh, Ow! What in Merlin? Where are you going? What a stupid thing to kill... do! It's not stupid. It's How the dare... most stupid thing anyone has ever done. Well, if you'd look where you're going instead of barging about... What, what are you doing? No, that, I'm just that, trying to... Invisibless. No, that's not Stop it. Stop it! Uh, You'll make it... Right. Success! <laughs> You're right! It's superb! You blithering moon mind, that's my essay for sharp! Abandoned potions of the Middle Ages as compared to the Black Plague? No, the one on invisibility. Oh, well, you'll do well on that one then. <clears throat> Blasted charm! Vivellio. Open flame! and listen to our song. Lumos. Well armed, we lovely. A 
Alohomora. Revenue. Hello, Amora. Rebellion. Alohomora. Mind now, demigods.
Revelia. A little more. Aloha Mora. Revenia. Rebellion.
Lumos. Hello, Hamora. Revenia. I had said I would. You should. You should ask her. Shan't hold my breath for that. No. I'm going to ask her this time. You said that 40 years ago. Did you see that? She looked at me. My dear mound of shoulders, I'm afraid it was I that drew her gaze. Uh... I'm going to do it. You should, before the next century. Oh, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Milady, uh, would thou take us my hand in dance? Oh. <laughs> I did it. I asked uh, her. Forgetting anything? No, oh, goodness. Uh, Milady, uh, might I borrow my body, perchance? <laughs> Milady? Care to dance? What you'd never ask. What a handsome couple we make. Revelia. Aloha Mora.
Revelio. Another house token for the house chest. Here we go, the last house token. Time to see what's inside. goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. <laughs> relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. 